So the Astros smashed the Tigers, 9-1. to The defending world champions. Yeah, they're supposed to uh, smash a, an awful team like the Tigers. Yeah, Tigers 40-57. and 57. Yeah, they're pretty bad. They're dropping. They're about to drop in the fourth place. They're now down to six games ahead of the fourth place Chicago White Sox. Let's touch on a little bit on Michael Fulmer. He didn't even make it to the fifth inning. As you can see, his stats, seven earned runs, ten hits. 127 whip going into the game. It's, it's going to be higher now. Jeez, old Pete. Probably. His record is 3-9. and nine. He's got a 450 ERA. Oh, God. That, that, that's not Michael Fulmer-like. I mean... We didn't expect we did not expect Michael Fulmer to be great against the Astros, but my God, this is on this is uncharacteristic. He got scorched and he never even made it through the fifth inning. That's that's just terrible. Michael Fulmer's lost it, and of course the Buck Farmer stuff. Yeah, he sucks. Yeah, Fulmer, four and two thirds, seven earned runs, ten hits, one twenty seven whip. This is not, this is not a joke. He did not make it through the fifth inning. Three and nine, four fifty ERA. Some fans might start to question then. Is Fulmer even worth the trade value, worth market? He still might. There are other teams that can redevelop Michael Fulmer, you know. The Tigers, unlike them, cannot develop any player in Major in major League Baseball. The Tigers do not have a development. A player, they do not have a development system. They don't. Neither do the Red Wings. even though they have Anthony Mantha, Andres Athanasiu, and Dylan Larkin. But the Tigers most definitely cannot develop any players. They certainly cannot develop Nick Castellanos, who is now on the trade market. I'm sure other teams will develop his defense, unlike the Tigers. But this is, a, this is another loss that Chris Lynch deserves. And of course... You got tomorrow's pitching matchup, which is which is a hands down one sided duel. Garrett Cole didn't make it through the sixth inning for Houston. Just threw too many pitches, but he was doing well. Except he threw uh, issued four walks, eight strikeouts, throwing a lot of pitches. But um, he gets the win. he gets a much needed win. There's the other parenthesis. So there you go. Well, there's other news here. Uh, Pistons public address announcer John Mason retires. First Jim Brandstatter gets fired and now this. Pistons lose their public address announcer due to retirement. Where are they going to go with that now in that department? We don't know. There's nobody that can replace John Mason. Detroit basketball. Lions defensive end Ezekiel Ansah, Ziggy Ansah, in other words, will play on, is expected to play on a franchise tag during the entire season, meaning he will not get an extension. And then Michigan State University, the Spartans, will name their will name their permanent athletic director on Monday, that, and that will be interim athletic director Bill Beekman. Can't see that clearly. 
Here, I'm going to rewrite it here. Oh, come on. There you go, there's the E. So, um, looks like only one live viewer. I'll, I'll, I'll give the rest, I'll, I'll give the archived viewers a browse here. This is my promotion flyer. I'm gonna drive out around my uh, local cities again pass out more promotion flyers. Um, this is this is my new banner in case you don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna finally post that on YouTube. So um, that's it. Good night everyone.